I'm going to show you how you can create 3D maps and dollhouse effects using the Insta360 X4 and a software called Cupix Vista. The kind of 3D maps that you can create with the combination of the X4 and this software is useful for very many reasons. Not only does it automatically create these 3D scans, it also creates a virtual tour, which could be used for anything from construction to real estate architecture, and it allows you to accurately map out an area take accurate measurements, measure floor plans. Cupix Vista is one of a number of products from the parent company Cupix, which has developed a leading 3D spatial digital twin platform. Cupix Vista is probably the easiest way to do this right now. Previously, these kinds of maps required extremely expensive cameras and extremely expensive software and took quite a long time, but now it can be done fairly quickly and easily with really decent results. Cupix Vista is available both on a desktop and there is a phone app. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to create this kind of 3D map, this dollhouse or this kind of virtual tour with a 3D element built in. First, what you need to do is download the Cupix Vista app and sign up. And now in this tutorial, I'm using the free trial, so you should be able to try this out yourself. Once you've installed the app, tap the Connect 360 camera option. Now make sure your Insta360 X4 is on and press the Connect button when you see the camera appear in a list. Now take your X4 and attach it to an invisible selfie stick. And you're gonna wanna raise that stick at least a half a meter above your head. You could also attach it to a helmet, but I think most people are gonna be using something like this invisible selfie stick. Now when you're ready to start capturing, press the start button and the camera will start capturing. Now as the camera is capturing, you want to walk slowly and don't rush. Walk at a normal pace and just walk around the entire area that you want to capture. The camera can capture about five meters or 16 feet either side. So if you are in an area that has a lot of open space, you're gonna to wanna to double back on yourself. Overall, just make sure you're walking around the space, capturing as much as possible. If you think there's an area that you really wanna capture, make sure you're capturing very high quality, then just stay still for between three and five seconds. You may also want to adjust the height at which your camera is capturing, so literally just raising the camera higher. Another tip is to try and make sure the place where you started capturing the video is roughly the place where you end it. This just allows the software to work out the 3D map in a more accurate way. You should, is, you should also keep the camera at least 0.5 meters or roughly two feet away from any objects, otherwise it's once again going to mess up the 3D mapping. Once you finish shooting your recording and you want to start making your 3D maps, then you need to plug your Insta360 X4 into the, your laptop or desktop as all of the processing is done on the Cupix Vista website. Then you need to connect your Insta360 X4 to your desktop or laptop. Go to the Cupix Vista website and once again, sign up and sign in. Once you're there, click on the create new button You'll be asked to name the map that you're going to be creating. Then you'll be asked to drag and drop your videos. Now you don't need to process your videos in the Insta360 Studio. You can drag and drop the INSV videos straight from the camera right into Cupix Vista website and it will start uploading and generating the 3D map. Once again, it will take a little time. And once it's done, you need to download the file. So once it's ready, you'll see here, it says ready to download. Click that download button. Ever, and what you'll get is a CPC file. Now, this is a file type that was specifically developed by Cupix for these 3D maps. So it won't work anywhere else. And once you've downloaded that file, you need to go to the vistapoint.cupixvista.com. There's a link right at the bottom of this, where well, you can see right here where there's a link you can click. Then you just need to drag and drop that CPC file that you just downloaded and it will load and you'll be able to see what your 3D map looks like and also your virtual tour. And that's pretty much the whole process. It really does not take long at all. And the quality of the 3D map and virtual tour is reasonably good, considering that this is a relatively inexpensive software 
and the X4 is an, an expensive camera. Let's take a look at a 3D map I've created with the X4 and Cubix Vista in this Vista Point viewer. Um, you can see at the bottom there, there are some options and we're gonna go through them. This is actually one of the better 3D captures I, I created because I followed, followed the rules, followed the tips that I pointed out earlier. Now, first off, let's look at this ta um, tab reader which basically has three options for the display. Um, color shows the realistic color, and elevation shows the elevation of your 3D capture, the red being higher and the blue being lower. And I think that's probably more useful in construction rather than something like this. The texture just shows exactly how it's captured um, from the camera. The filter tab allows you to filter based on these parameters, which is essentially height or depth. If you wanted to filter based on those, that's how you would do this. But the more important area is this measure tab, which has all of these options. And these are quite useful. So measuring the distance from one point to the other, um, you could measure, obviously this is very useful for something like architecture or indeed real estate if you wanted to measure the accurate size of a room. And it is accurate, I've checked. I didn't obviously measure this entire alley, but I've checked in different 3D scans, having no, knowing the height of certain things. In fact, my own home, I checked that out. So the measure tab, at least in terms of distance, for me is pretty accurate. To measure somewhere, you just click on the map once, that's your, your starting point, then drag that yellow line over and click to where you want the measurement to end. The measurements will then show up on the left-hand side in a little tab, and it will show you the details of the measurements there. You can do as many measurements as you want in a single 3D map, and indeed delete them as well if you don't want to or if you made a mistake. Another interesting option is the playback option and this will show you the exact route you took when you shot your 3D map and you can see here the route I took to, to shoot this and the colors basically show you the speed at which you are going and if you're going too fast then it will show as red and that may be areas where the 3D map was not um, captured very well but as you can see here mostly blue and yellow which is just about fine. You really do have to walk quite slowly probably slower than you're used to, so just bear that in mind. It's a slow walk to capture the kind of quality you want to get in a decent 3D map. Now we also have some options at the top left hand side which mostly is for viewing so if you wanted to view in a perspective view you can choose that if you wanted to ch change the uh, center of the camera there is the option there you can turn on and off the 360 tour bubbles which here if they're on you can click on them and then you can kind of do a little 360 tour of where that was shot now, the quality of the 360 images isn't super high because you can only use the 5.7K time-lapse function. It's not shot in the best quality that the X4 can shoot in, but just to have it available, as well as the 3D map, all in one, all in one kind of program, is pretty useful. The quality is certainly good enough to show the surroundings. Now, this first-person mode is quite interesting. It basically allows you to use your keyboard controls to kind of walk around your 3D map as if you were walking around in reality. Now, when you get this close, you can see that it's not true to reality exactly, but it does a pretty decent job um, for a, something like a construction site if you wanted to mimic walking around or an architectural diagram or even a cityscape like this. It gives you a rough estimation of what it's like to be in that area. But yeah, you can see obviously the 3D scan has its limitations with gaps in windows because it's reflective and yeah, textures being a bit odd sometimes, but, but it could be interesting to explore your 3D maps in that mode. But that's it for this quick run through of what's available in the Vista Capture online software. The 3D models that come from the Cubix Vista software are made using point clouds, which are basically data points collected from a real life area, like the street that I scanned or a construction site. It allows the program to develop the 3D mesh, which then allows us to see this 3D model. The examples that I've shown you are just a taste of what the Cubix Vista software could be used for. Let's take a look at some others. The, the most obvious example is for use in the construction industry, which is probably the main use case actually for this type of product, but it could also be used for real estate, preservation of historical sites, and for scanning and maintaining cultural buildings. 
So if 3D mapping was something that you were interested in, this is probably the easiest way to do it. My main tip would be to really walk quite slowly. If you are walking quickly, the camera doesn't capture the faces of buildings quite well. You need to give it time to capture those. If you do that and you follow the rest of the instructions in this video, then you should end up with a fairly good 3D map and a virtual tour. So this is just another way that 360 technology can kind of be innovative and there's many different ways you can use these cameras. It's not just for um, vlogging and creating cool action shots. Uh, I really like exploring the different ways that you can use this technology. That's the Cupix Vista software, guys. If you're interested in those 3D effects, anyone can try it and create it. Just go to the Cupix Vista website and sign up for the trial and then you can start creating your own 3D models. If you have any questions on how to use it or some tips, um, let me know. But until next time, I'll see you around. Bye.